Hello and welcome to Terrain Made Easy. My name is Jay and in this video I'm going to be doing a couple of experiments and a couple of uh, investigations to find out what's better for sealing your terrain. Is it Mod Podge or is it PVA? Now when I'm talking about sealing terrain I'm generally talking about this kind of stuff so your extruded or your expanded polystyrene terrain that's soft and could be easily dented rather than say like your trees which you flock or you know your bases that you flock because for that stuff the common wisdom is to just use PVA. However, for your foam works, whether or not it's um, d and tiles or what have you, a lot of people say Mod Podge is better. And for two real reasons. One, it protects it better. And two, when you actually come to paint it, because PVA is water-based, it can reactivate the paint. So we're gonna test those two things. And the way I'm gonna do that is I've taken some uh, some of this foam exactly, sliced it with a sharp blade rather than a hot wire cutter because there's many different variables that you could ultimately try and take into account. But in this case, I've just used a sharp blade, sliced them and made rectangles of them and I've done a little indentation on them. So I've put like what, like P1 for PVA1 and I've done like an anarchy symbol because I am a rebel. And um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is we'll have a look at those pieces. Then I'm gonna do two tests on some of them. I'm gonna drown one of them essentially in a very liquidy paint and then I'm gonna take some sanding paper and sand it and then we'll talk about the final conclusions. If though, at the end of this video, you like this video, press like and if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you're interested in terrain, please do subscribe, it really does help. So I've done a few different varieties of tests. Uh, this one here is essentially the classic one. The um, What I've done is I've written in um, P1 for PVA1, M1 for Mod Podge 1, and I've done that anarchy symbol as I described. And then for this one, it's literally just a mixture of black paint and either Mod Podge or PVA. Now, number four is actually the same, but what I did was I deliberately did it a little bit thicker, so there's more Mod Podge in it and more PVA. Number two is literally without the paint, just the actual coat of it. Not really sure why I did that one, but we have it nonetheless. And number three is I painted it first and then did the uh, Mod Podge or the PVA. Now I've also done an additional two which don't really fit into any categories because a lot of people will say that Mod Podge is essentially just watered down PVA and I'm not really sure how much you can see the symbols on, on camera at the moment but we'll, we'll do uh, close-ups later. So what I've done is I've watered down some PVA and um, done it with that black paint in that one and then I've just done one that is purely black paint and uh, we're just using that as sort of like a control. It's not going to be super scientific, but yeah, let's do some let's do some work with it. Once I'd painted it and let it dried, my initial conclusions are pretty obvious, right? PVA and Mod Podge both are slightly protecting this foam one way or another. It, I can feel that all the little bits that weren't perfectly cut, they have definitely solidified as opposed to feeling soft like I do on the side. These little like jagged bits, I'm not sure how much you can see them, they have become hard. Um, and you know, hard is obviously going to protect it, not perfect. And that's the case both for Mod Podge and PVA. We'll test that a little bit more with um, some sandpaper, but for now, uh, you might also notice, and I'm not sure if this picks it up, but the, the matte Mod Podge, which is what I've used here, is much more matte than say the PVA. The PVA is much shinier. Now that might not be a problem if you're then going to subsequently paint over it, but it's worth noting just in case maybe you're not, that obviously matte Mod Podge, if I'm honest, gives a nicer, flatter, smoother finish just simply because it's matte. So these are the two where it's just black paint and Mod Podge and or PVA. It's the mix that I personally would use at the default amount. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, watery paint, get a lot of water on my brush, and I'm going to put it at the top here. And we're going to see if we can essentially reactivate um, either the black paint or the PVA. So let's do that. I'm literally just going to put this paint straight onto it. That actually went all over my hands, so I'm going to have to just wipe myself off in a minute. Oh no! So I've got a very watery brush, and uh, we'll do it on the PVA first. And uh, I'm just going to put it all at the top here. I'm trying to concentrate here on the bit where uh, there's a little bit of a jagged edge, which will maybe allow me to test it a bit better. First reaction is that it's not really reactivating. Um, or coming off in any way, but I'm going to do while it's wet. Actually, I'm going to get a bit more water on my brush here just to really emphasize it. Put it right here. All right, so that's as wet as I can possibly make that section. And what I'm going to do is take my finger and make an absolute mess and just rub it off. Am I getting any of the black paint? Am I getting any of the black paint? It's hard to really say. 
and I'll rub this section off here. I'm not sure if I'm getting any black paint. I don't know if you can see it on my fingers. I don't think so, but um, that's definitely interesting. We'll see if the Mod Podge does anything different. Mod Podge then, we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to put the paint on it by default, like uh, the top, and get a bit more water as I did on the last one. Just put a blob down here, maybe on this corner here. And then we're going to see if I can uh, wipe it off of any kind doesn't again doesn't appear to see that it's uh, coming off again I'm going to concentrate here just on this bit where um, there's a bit of a jagged edge which might allow me to feel if the Mod Podge is reactivated or what have you my instinct says no I'm not getting anything on my finger and I'm not nothing has really happened on the PVA so my initial test with wet paint reactivating the Mod Podge or the PVA doesn't appear to be the case uh, but what we'll do is I'll let these dry and uh, we'll, and then I'll come in and I'll sand it and I'll sand the bottom bit, I'll sand the top bits and uh, this little middle bit here where um, maybe it's just the actual paint, like a, a less watered down version of the paint. For completion what I will do is I will do the rest of them off camera, um, so I'll do my watered down PVA, just my black paint, the thicker versions of them and then the uh, the two versions which don't really make sense. <laughs> A little bit interesting on this one so this is essentially pva with black paint but what i did was i added a lot of pva and a lot of like mod podge to that one uh, this is test number four when i've come to actually uh, wipe this off with my uh, thumb what i'm noticing is it's actually a lot stickier on my hand now the black paint's not coming off sure but um you you can't visibly see this but as I said on my my hands feel a little bit sticky like some PVA has actually come off so uh, that is essentially proving uh, a point that at least the PVA can be reactivated with water and then whilst we're here we'll obviously do the Mod Podge one we'll see if the thicker Mod Podge could maybe be reactivated and we will wipe this off now I don't know if it's my imagination but I'm doing the Mod Podge one where it was thicker and I'm trying different fingers to make sure I'm not contaminating it and quite frankly it does feel slightly stickier than the first one but not as much as the PVA um, so it sort of feels like it may have reactivated but not much um, it's still better than the PVA thick one but it does feel like there could be a bit of a case for if you do it very thick that it might reactivate so we'll let this paint dry and then we'll move on to my sanding test. I've got blue paint all over my hands. Blue paint all over my hands. So I found an idea that I could do with just the ones where I've literally just painted on pure PVA or pure Mod Podge. Now I've got some skanky water here that I'm using um, just you know to wipe my brush. And what I'm going to do, quite frankly, is I'm going to put them face down in this water, let's say for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to wipe it with my fingers and see if it has reactivated. So we'll do the PVA first and I'm just going to wipe that in there. You can't properly see that but um, it's in there. This is going to make a mess but whatever. So let's call it, well, I'll say 10 seconds but you know, you can't get more wet than purely covered in water surely. <laughs> so uh, we'll take that out now and uh, it's not affected the colour or anything like that. So that is very wet, it's, it, I've just dipped it in water. Has it reactivated any of the PVA? Now my instinct here says no. You're seeing a bit of colour transference from my hand and um, you know, the paint. It's very hard, I, oh a bit of stickiness. After a little while there is a bit of stickiness. What I'm going to do is just take a bit of tissue and just see if I can wipe it off wipe it off and then yeah I'm definitely it's hard to show you on camera because it's a it's a feeling rather than um, an exactitude here but yes I think the PVA has reactivated and that does make sense PVA on its own will reactivate so not an amazing problem there now what we'll do is we'll let that dry and see if you know if there's actually that much PVA on though it's hard to say We'll go straight onto the Mod Podge and we'll do the same thing. Dry my hands. Dry my hands whilst I am waiting. Okay, Mod Podge coming out. And we will, I've just dried my finger so it should be all fine. 
yeah i'll tell you what it does still it feels under my finger it feels sturdier still the pva sort of felt like i was wiping it away the mod podge does not feel like i'm wiping it away mm, after a while it is starting to feel like i might be getting a little bit of stickiness let's uh, again take the tissue just to wipe off all the water now let's see if that it feels like it's become less solid like the effect might be less uh, heavy on this now but still the mod podge is definitely the mild tackiness is how i would describe that pva i'd say became a little bit tacky this becomes even like just a tiny bit of tacky not much but still i can sort of feel it so that's interesting okay so the paint appears to have dried and what i'm gonna do is essentially separate them into two halves each one and um I'm going to scratch it with my fingernail on one side and on the other side I'm going to use this sandpaper and uh, yeah we'll start with the PVA first um, I will just scratch this side with my fingernail just to see if I can like what happens like uh, obviously you can obviously still indent it I don't think anybody expected it. other than that you can obviously still see indentations but let's say if I'm scratching it up right so, so actually it is hurting my fingernail not gonna lie but you know you can see you can damage it and um, I do have a test piece which we will compare that to right now uh, this one is purely just black paint uh, so I will scratch this one up now it is a bit thinner so I'm actually a bit worried I might go through this one but oh, I, I think you might notice for sure and I'm, I don't feel like I'm doing anything different though but I feel like this one is capitulating a little bit easier yeah that definitely feels more solid uh, this does feel better than just foam I will say that just black paint on its own like that provided a little bit of a layer um, so that's PVA versus just black paint now we'll move on to the Mod Podge and we'll just do the same thing I'll just scratch it up on the side uh, sure okay definitely on the edge here much harder to to scratch up oh okay this is this is a little bit uh, I didn't really expect much difference in this test but I will say it's taking uh, my initial reaction is that it's taken a bit more effort to do any damage so I don't know if you can see the difference there um, obviously this is unscientific it's me with my fingernail scratching it up now I can obviously achieve the same results by scratching at it but I mean yeah okay so what we'll do is we'll take the sandpaper and I'm just going to do one wipe down it so I'll do one wipe down of the black uh, just black paint I'm just gonna have to do it this way because of my hands so I'm just gonna take it like this and I'm just gonna scrape it like that okay that came straight off basically okay well I just did two there but you can see the black paint on that side came very much straight off so we'll move on to the PVA and we'll just do the same thing so I have to do this upside down just because I'm right-handed and uh, yeah we'll okay I did a couple I'm doing a couple of swipes so I did three um, it definitely fared better than just black paint so if you have PVA we can instantly conclude that's a bit better and then we'll do it on the mod podge again I realize this is upside down yeah okay I feel like um, the mod podge same kind of amount of uh, swipes do similar ish kind of damage but what you might notice and I don't know if it picks up on camera but on this side here the left side uh, where I just did the sandpapering it looks <laughs> the damage looks smoother if that makes sense it looks like it's a bit more consistent and whereas this one uh, for sure it looks like it's come off in slightly bigger bobs ultimately i wouldn't say there's too much difference between the pva and the mod podge the mod podge perhaps fared a little bit better let's just pick away at the uh at the actual detail I d yeah i do think the mod podge is better for sure my instant reaction is testing this i do think the mod podge is better like it's not really gonna if you're doing any kind of serious damage it's not really gonna stop like it's not there's no like um, halt like it's going straight through the foam basically maybe the PVA might actually be a little bit firmer in that sense um, with the sharp blade but not really much difference we'll do exactly the same thing on the thicker version so these are the four um, on this side I will scrape it this is thick PVA right okay uh, yeah okay I will say this thick version of the PVA 
is actually okay. Um, and obviously the detail is something that's important. Right, okay, I will say just with my nail, the thicker version of the PVA is better than the not as thick version of the PVA. It feels a little bit more solid, sure. Um, just comparing the detail though from the PVA, uh, the thick versions, yeah, I do think that uh, there's definitely a bit of detail lost exactly in the uh, in the top bit here. Whereas in the Mod Podge, I would say um, there's there's less detail in the one where it was thicker, but there's still more detail in both of them. Okay, move on to the thick version of Mod Podge, and we'll, with the fingernail test. Okay, I was, I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, that I'm doing the same kind of damage I did to this, uh, well, the same kind of strength, and yeah, it, it's it's definitely not damaging as much. I think Mod Podge for sure is the ultimate winner, but we'll go and we'll do the sandpaper test on the thick version. So this is the thick version of PVA. Ooh, quite a few wipes before I even got rid of any of the paint there. Uh, okay, we'll do that on the thick version of Mod Podge. Again, I've got to do it upside down. Yeah, quite quite a few wipes. Obviously, the damage does look a little bit worse, but you know, I had to scrape that a lot more to get the same kind of damage. Uh, yeah, okay, interesting. Very quickly, then I'll just do the fingernail test. So what I did with these two is I painted it grey first and then did the coat over it. Yeah, they're definitely both doing a bit of something. Yeah, I do feel like the Mod Podge is just slightly better at, at protecting it. Okay. Well, this one, uh, the PVA here, um, I don't know how thick of a coat I did it, but just pure PVA, look at that. Like, that's, this is by far the best result I've had. Let's try it, like really mess this up Woo. for protection wise just the PVA on this was very good not much difference it's coming off a little bit more with a bit more effort uh, I wouldn't say there was too much difference in that, in that one actually the one that we dipped in water we'll do the PVA first I'll just do the scratch test yeah the, the PVA has been uh, weakened here. The damage is much easier to uh, to do. Uh, the, it's a little bit more protected than, than say, just foam, I think. But it's on a very similar level to the one where we just did black paint. And same for the Mod Podge, is it? Uh, no. The Mod Podge has definitely held its uh, protection a little bit better. It's, it's harder to damage. Now, you're not, not necessarily going to see these because there's not much paint on them. But, yeah, I'm finding that a bit harder to damage. We'll sand the PVA. Yeah, there's not really not much difference there between. It might as well not really be on there. Mod Podge. I don't know if you can hear that, maybe, but it, it sounds different. It still has its coat. No, I am sanding away the coat there, but yeah, okay. Watered down PVA. Little test. Uh, as expected, not really much there. Uh, yeah, that's not that great. Sand test. Yeah, I will say that watered down PVA, minimal effect. So let's go through them. This is the way it's black paint with either Mod Podge or PVA, and it's the amount that I personally would have used. Um, and I will say that they do offer some protection over just black paint. That um, seems to be obvious to me. There is the additional effect that the matte Mod Podge is obviously less shiny than the PVA. PVA is naturally more glossy, whereas the matte is reasonably matte. Obviously, if you use gloss uh, Mod Podge, it would be shiny. And for the sanding test, yeah, for sure, I think uh, they both held up reasonably well, where you can see that the um, just the black paint yeah, it disintegrated, basically. In terms of detail that was lost when I put on the coats, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say there was that much difference between this amount. My one here definitely appears to have lost a bit of detail, but not like an insane amount. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be too displeased with that. We did notice that the PVA was 
ever so slightly tackier than the Mod Podge when I put on the water. Now that's probably because PVA is more water soluble. Mod Podge seems to be water soluble, but just not in the same kind of level. And that was uh, enhanced and shown more clearly when I used the thicker versions. So the thicker versions, we obviously lost more detail because it, the actual Mod Podge in the paint is thicker. The protection was a little bit better on both of them, I think, uh, for sure. I think I can say that for certainty um, when it comes to the sanding. I've had to do more sanding to get stuff off, so don't necessarily compare like for like damage because I did different amounts of sanding. Uh, but for sure, when I did the water test, um, yeah, this one was much tackier and stickier than that one. So, but that one was a little bit tacky, the Mod Podge, but the PVA was much more tacky. And that came true when we did the version where it was literally just PVA and just Mod Podge. When I put them in water for like 10 seconds, the PVA has essentially almost come straight off, whereas the Mod Podge has remained. For version three, I literally did it, I painted it in the color of gray and then just put the PVA and the Mod Podge over. That actually possibly had improved effects doing it like that. Um, yeah, I felt it, I felt they were quite more protected than when I did just black paint, but it was it was a close call. I wouldn't say there was too much difference in it. And of course, because I have done the Mod Podge and the PVA last, it's a bit shinier on the PVA. The Mod Podge though was a very nice matte surface. And then finally, for the one where people say uh, Mod Podge is essentially just watered down PVA, yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think this uh, sort of proves it. It, watering down the PVA essentially limited the protective nature of it rather than helping the protective nature of it. You do possibly retain some of the detail, but the damage uh, was easier to do to it. So uh, yeah, I personally wouldn't do that one. So I personally found those results pretty interesting and it did sort of make me want to test what would happen if you tried to seal your flock on your bases using Mod Podge and, and people generally don't do that and I'm not 100% sure why so if you do know why do write that in the comments or if you want to see me test it write that in the comments and um, for sure though the effect between the Mod Podge and PVA versus just the black paint it's definitely worth sealing your terrain the black paint did not protect it in any way there was no protection on it it's just paint so that is as you would expect the combination of black paint and either Mod Podge or PVA definitely increases the protection. It increases the strength. You can once you've put it on, you can physically there were, if there were any little lumps, you can physically feel that they've hardened up. So it definitely makes a difference. And it's true when I tried to damage it with my fingernail versus when I did the sandpaper, I would give the edge to Mod Podge, right? I do think Mod Podge protected the foam a little bit better than the PVA did. However, they both do protect the foam. So I would again stress, or I say again stress, I would stress if you haven't just PVA and you don't have Mod Podge, do use PVA, it will help. Now, the secondary part of this test was the water test where essentially we wet the PVA or the Mod Podge and tried to see if it reactivates. Because PVA on your basing will definitely reactivate. So it's definitely prone to that. I do think that actually the black paint mixed in with the PVA does diminish that effect a little bit because the one where it was just PVA really reactivated where the one where it was black paint and PVA didn't really do so much. So um, was the Mod Podge, it did seem to reactivate but at a much lower reactivation than say the PVA. And um, I don't think the reactivation is particularly a problem for either. Yes, PVA will reactivate a little bit more than Mod Podge, but I don't think the reactivation under normal, just painting it or dry brushing it, especially for terrain, would be a problem. So for me, I'm not really worried about reactivation. I'm more just interested in the protection and the protection goes like Mod Podge is right up there, then PVA and then nothing right at the bottom. The difference between Mod Podge and PVA, is it worth the five pound, six pound tub of PVA Mod Podge? Maybe, if it's something you don't, not that bothered about picking up and you're only making a handful of bits of terrain, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. The glossy, shiny nature of the PVA might be more of a problem for you. However, if you're gonna do black and then a different like covering layer, that shininess is likely to like get muted down anyway. So ultimately, I gotta give the win to Mod Podge. I think Mod Podge did a better job, at both protecting it, being water resistant and um, the detail the detail was better with the mod podge essentially mod podge seems to be like a watered down pva but when i did the watered down pva test 
it didn't perform very well. However, it seems to maybe have something like varnish in it and probably something like flow aid. Now those two, that combination, you can apparently go and check out the chemical differences. That probably is what it is just from usage. I don't really know the chemical differences and it's reflected. It does. It might have a bit of varnish in it. So it, the protection is a little bit better. It's a little bit uh, more liquid in itself. So it flows a little bit better. Mod Podge does a better job. Is it worth the six pound just to protect your terrain? Well, yes, because if you're going to make, you're going to spend a lot of time making your terrain, then it makes sense that you really do want to protect it. However, if you don't have it and you can't bother going and getting it, you're not really going to lose out by not buying it and just using PVA and black paint. Definitely protect your terrain. Definitely use Mod Podge or PVA. That's it. Have a most beautiful day. If you like this video, you want to see more of this kind of video, like let me know in the comments these sort of tests. If you're interested in terrain as a home, like tutorials, etc., please do subscribe. That is mainly what I do. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.